Welcome to our tool demo of the Palladio Workbench. The Palladio Workbench is a quality prediction tool for software systems. Before starting with the tool, I want to introduce you the Palladio approach in general. A Palladio prediction model consists of four submodels. In the component model, you specify the components, their interfaces, and also their behavior. In the composition model, you connect those components to build up a system of several components. In the next step, you deploy the components of the systems to different or the same hardware nodes. And last but not least, in a usage model, you specify in which way the system is used. Based on these four models, the Palladio approach can predict you the response time of the system, the resource utilization of different hardware nodes, or it can predict the throughput of the system. But now, let's go over to the tool. Modeling a Palladio model starts with creating a repository model. And there we have a wizard on top in the toolbar. In the repository diagram, you can add components. In our case, we have a camera component, which, which is responsible for taking pictures of cars on the street. And another component, the LPR component, it's license plate, license plate recognition, which consumes images from the cam component and tries to detect the license plate number. These components communicate via events and therefore we have to specify an event group, the images, and in this event group we have to spy, specify a specific event type which is used. In this case it's the image. Now we have to specify that the camera can emit those images, therefore we have to take a source role and drag it from the camera to the image and the LPR component consumes those events therefore we have to take a sync role and connect it to the event rate. Now we can also see that automatically a service effect specification is created. With this service effect specifications the behavior of the components can be modeled. Due to time restrictions, we cannot go into detail into this. And I will continue with a predefined repository to show you the other models. Here we have the system model and you can see that there are also some more components. Here we have two camera components and we had to add the license plate detection component to this system model. We see the sync roles and the source roles and now we have to connect them that the camera was sending to the license plate component and also the other camera and the events emitted by the license plate recognition are sent to a speeding component which detects speedings. In the allocation diagram, we deploy the components of the system to hardware nodes. And in this case, the license plate detection component is still missing and we deploy it also to the other components on PC3. We have to save. And now going over to the usage model, here I have a predefined model. We have one trigger of the access component, a second behavior which specifies the usage of the scoot component, and the last behavior is responsible for triggering the cam component. For each behavior you can specify the inter-arrival times. After specifying all models, we can now start running a simulation and we have to go under Run Configurations. In Simobench, we I've already created a simulation run and in such a simulation run, you have to specify the allocation model 
and the usage model that should be used. After clicking on the Run button, several model transformations are executed that transform the model into the simulation code. The simulation code is then executed, as you can see here, the number of measurements that are performed. And after finishing the simulation, we have to switch to the, another perspective, that's the PCM results perspective. And in this perspective, you see our memory data source with our demo run. And in this demo run, we have several sensors. And for example, here you can see the utilization of PC3 in a pie chart diagram. Or you can look at processing times, which you can visualize using, for example, histograms, as you can see here. This is all of our short demo of the Palladio Workbench, and thank you for your attention, and if you want to know more about our Palladio Workbench, visit our web page.